the last time I wrote a song was in a college bathroom Scribbling my life away on scrap after class Soon lacking on the grades, considered the time wasted What I learned today was I failed and I hate this To have my efforts graded and subjectively misplaced With teenage wastes of space with bank statements to loaded with the commas, I do not belong with all He's nothing but a slave for squalor on the bench Watching ballers like holler, uh If you got some debt now, you're in full effect If you're poor, let me hear some chest pounds If you're insecure, show them how the hollows get down Walk like you were never Hey, senior class of 2018. My name is Melanie Chaponan, your student body president. And I'm Kayla Trunell, the senior class vice president. We just wanted to remind you guys about the senior bundle offers. They are on sale. Um, bundle number one is $70. Uh, it is no prom ticket, college fair picnic ticket, studio movie grill ticket, and your senior t-shirt. Bundle number two is $150, so you're saving $10. It includes one prom ticket, a college fair picnic ticket, a studio movie grill ticket, and one senior t-shirt. Um, bundle number three is $220. Uh, it comes with two prom tickets, college fair picnic ticket, studio movie grill ticket, and your senior t-shirt. You guys, make sure that you are purchasing these bundle tickets. Um, after March 1st, the prices will go up, so make sure you catch them while they are on the low. Make sure that if you have any ideas about senior t-shirt ideas, you submit them to Ms. Crouch by at least March 2nd. Um, and that's all we have. Um, just please, please, please buy these bundles. Um, if not, we all won't be happy with the prompt location. Well, that's it, folks. We'll see you Thank next time. You. Hi, I'm Officer Gray, Dallas ISD Police Department here at Skyline High School. And today we're going to talk about how to prevent fights. If you're being threatened through social media, right away block that person. Ignore that person. Don't even acknowledge it. Just let it go or let somebody know. Let a teacher know, counselor, principal, security officer, police officer, and, and we can take care of it. We can probably talk to that other person who's actually making the threats to you and see what's going on, what the situation is. If someone's trying to approach you and try to fight you, do your best to try to walk away. Don't engage in it. Because in the end, you're going to get in trouble too because you're going to end up fighting. Just walk away. Let a teacher know. Again, teacher, principal, a monitor, Security officer, police officer, let somebody know that someone's trying to fight you. If there's a situation where there is a fight, don't entertain it. Get out of the way because you got your monitors, teachers, principals, security officers, police officers that are going to try to get in there and try to break up the situation. If you're in the way, you're just making it harder for the staff to get those students apart so they don't hurt themselves.
I'm Jessica Raven, and your Skyline Scoop starts right now. Okay, so I'm Mrs. Carner and I teach the interior design uh, magnet program and we are out in the construction cluster today because the interior design students have been studying uh, con construction for furniture. Um, they're going to actually look at renovation techniques, so staining and finishing and upholstery. And uh, the construction cluster has shown us how to use their power tools today. And we're actually uh, creating the seat for the stool and uh, making a wedge so that the legs can sit at an angle. And then the students will take it back to the classroom and finish it and stain it and then pick their fabric, put padding on top and create a padded upholstered stool that they get to take home. It's Tuesday and that means it's time to check in with Jordan and Alejandra. Hi, I'm Jordan Alley. Hi, I'm Alejandra Casañeda. And this is Kelly Bradford. I'm a junior. Okay, Kelly. Uh, how has Skyline helped you achieve any of your goals? Uh, next question. Okay, <laughs> Kelly. Uh, do you have any... Uh, it's your turn. Does it matter? No. Uh... Do you have any extracurricular activities? <laughs> See, this is what you were supposed to say. <laughs> Do you have any uh, extracurricular activities, you know, you want to um, support, show support toward? Uh, theater, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, theater. I like theater. Mm, I've been in theater since sophomore year. Oh, and I've been in theater two years. <laughs> <laughs> With all the brothers you have here at Skyland, which one's your favorite? Kane. Kane's my twin. Me and Kane do a lot of stuff together. Nice. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a pediatrician. I like taking care of babies and stuff. Nice. Okay, so what's your favorite memory in life? Like, 17 years. Pick one. My favorite memory is when I called 911 on Kane for jumping in my bed. <laughs> Uh, it started, I think we were like seven maybe, mm -hmm. and he, uh, continued to keep jumping in my bed, and I was like, you keep jumping in my bed, I'm calling 911. So, I had, uh, left to go back to my mother and father's room, and I called 911, and they popped up at the door, <laughs> and they were knocking on me, they was like, did someone call 911, and I was like, no, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and then they were like, uh... They was like, well, we got a call saying that someone was jumping in the bed or something. They was like, don't call for any false, you know, any false things or whatever. So, yeah, that was like one of the funniest moments. Did you get a whooping? Yes. <laughs> they told me that they might. <laughs> <laughs> any inspirational people in your life that you yeah. Uh... My grandmother, before she died, she taught me almost everything other than that, my brothers, because I don't really have any, like, I ain't never really had any women support, woman support. Beautiful, Kelly. Beautiful. Okay. okay that's Thank you, Kelly. Thank you. Okay. 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 Now it's time for your ACE activity. All right. Good morning, Skyline High School. My name is Zachary Machani, Jr., also known as Mr. Mack. I am the EIF advisor here at Skyline High School. EIF stands for Education is Freedom. If you are a junior and or a senior, you have not been down to the EIF room yet, we look forward to seeing you guys. There's a lot of information and a lot of resources that we have to offer in the EIF office. Whether that be SAT, ACT registration, uh, financial aid, also TASFA, 
community service, scholarships, whatever you guys need post-graduation, we are your outlet. You give us purpose to be here. So if you don't come see us, we have no purpose. Uh, today we're gonna be actually talking about financial aid. So if you are a senior, you have not completed your financial aid yet, we need to have you guys come down to the EIF office. But when you do come down, there are a few things that you're gonna need to complete your financial aid. You're going to need your parents' W-2 forms from 2016. You will also need their 1040 forms from 2016, and you will need to have their date of birth. If they're married and or divorced, you need the month and the year. But if you need that information again, please come down to the EIF office, and we'll help you guys get that taken care of. You cannot go to college without completing your FAFSA. We look forward to seeing you guys. That's all we have for today, Raiders. Be sure to catch up on all things Skyline by following us at Skynet Broadcasting. And to make sure you never miss an episode of your Skyline Scoop, sign up to receive mobile broadcasts by texting at SKYN to 81010. Catch us every day right here at SkynetBroadcasting.org and listen to tomorrow's hits today in the cafeteria and anywhere in the world with Skynet Radio. I'm Jessica Raven. For all of us here at Skynet Broadcasting, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later, Raiders.